Okay, um, we would like to use substitution theorem to uh, find the equivalent uh, circuit between A and B where the load was uh, for this circuit right here. So let's go ahead and draw the circuit first. By the way, this is problem 43 at page 329. from circuit analysis by Robbins and Miller. Okay. All right, so we have a circuit that looks like this. Here's point A, here's the load, here's point B, we have another resistor here, and a source right here. This was 10 volts, this was 50 milliamp. Let's call this one R1. Uh, it's not labeled as R1 in your textbook, but we'll use R1 anyway. 75 ohms. RL was labeled as such with a value of 125 and I'm going to call this one R2 and it had 100 ohms. So the idea of substitution is we want to find an equivalent circuit that looks like this vis-a-vis -vis the load vis-a-vis -vis point A and B. So the rest of the circuit will still remain the same but we're looking for a voltage source here I'm going to call it big V here, with a 50 ohm, this is what they want, they want a 50 ohm equivalent between A and B, and the remaining of the circuit is still the same, R1, R2, and you have your 10 volts here, and let's call this one E, let's call this one E for now, and let's call this one I1, you'll see why, and 50 milliamp, okay? All right, so we want this source here. We want to know what it is. And we want to know, to do this, you need to find the current through the branch. Okay, so how can you do that? Well, you could do it right here. We want to know what is the current through this branch where the load is. So in other words, we're looking for IL and VAB to be able to do this part. Okay. Now, the approach to this, you could use Thevenet, Norton, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm just going to do uh, this, current nodes. So I'm going to call this one I1, and I'm going to call this one I2. So assuming that my current is heading in this direction. If that's the case, against R1, then the voltage drop will be in this direction. Against here, it will be in this direction. And this will be in this direction. And this will be in this direction. And this one will remain in this way. Okay. So now we can write the current node vis-a-vis -vis I2. Okay. So vis-a-vis -vis I2, what you end up with, uh, if you evaluate... Uh, against R1, it's based on two currents from these two nodes against R1. One, you have to make sure that your voltage drops, if they're in the same direction as your uh, uh, initial arbitrary, initially arbitrarily you choose a direction and then you stick with it. I'm going clockwise here. So if it's in the same direction, the voltages will be positive, I mean the voltage drop, if not it's negative. So in this case, it's in the same direction as my current I2, so that would be plus I1, R1, minus I2, R2. And then you keep going. Voltage Kirchhoff uh, rules applies to this node here. Minus I2, R2, minus I2, R2, minus E, equals zero. 
Fantastic. So what is it we know we don't know? We don't know I2. We do know I1. So we're going to move all the constants on one end. So I'm going to factor in my minus I2 here. And that would be R2. And by the way, this is RL. Uh, this is R1. And this is RL. Uh -huh. So this is R1, RL. So this is R1 plus I2 RL plus R2 equals, and then move the other way around, right? E, right? Minus I1 R1. Okay, assuming the current through the load is in this direction. So if we find a negative value, then we'll know the current is heading in the, in the other direction. Now let's look at it again. So what would be I2 based on what we've just written here? Well, that would be I1, R1 minus E. So I just flipped around this so I can take out the negative values there. The denominator can remain positive the way it is. R1, RL plus R2. Okay, can we put some values in here? And yes, we could do I1, which is what? 50 milliamps, so 50, 10 to the minus third, times R1, which is 75, minus E, which is your 10 volts. Everything divided by 75 plus 125 plus 100. So let's evaluate that. And let me pull my calculator here. So, excuse me. So, so I have 75 times 50, 10 to the minus third, that will be 3.7 volts, 75 minus 10, divided by what looks like 300 to me. So, equals, that's 6.25. Remember, it's a negative now, divided by 300. So that's telling me where the current is heading. And that's 20.83 milliamp. Minus, negative. Right? So I can tell which way IL is heading. It's going to be the opposite of I2. That's great. Now, how about VAB? Well, VAB is going to be equal to I2 times RL. So that's not a problem. So we're going to do uh, your 20.83, 10 to the minus third, times 125. Let's see, what, what is that? Times 125. That's 2.6 volts. Okay. So what it's saying is this. Between point A and B, if VAB is in this, this right now is, uh, if the current now is going the other way. Um, so that means the voltage, let me just, uh, let me just make sure we understand what's going on here. Uh, so I2, that's a minus. This is a minus. Got to make sure you understand that. So what it's saying is VAB uh, should be pointing the other way, which means the current is coming in the other way. So that means we have VAB really this way, and the current is going this way. Okay, IL. Right, so IL is heading this way, and the drop or the uh, the voltage between here and, and here is going to be in this direction. So if that's the case, let's say I have a generator that generates that current, then it would be something like this, and that would be your V. This is your 50 ohm that they asked for. So what is this? Well, we know this is 2.6 volt total. So what you have here is the difference, like this, so let's call it V, is going to be equal to 2.6, oops, we don't want to do that, 
minus uh, IL times the 50 ohm. Well, IL happens to be your positive this time, notice the direction, 20.83. So it's 2.6 minus 20.83, 10 to the third, minus third, times 50. And that's going to be, let me see here. So 20.83 times 50, 10 to the third, that would be 2.6 minus 1.04 from what I'm seeing here. So 2.6 minus 1.04 gives you about, and I'm approximating here because I've skipped a few things, 1.56 volts right here. So this would be positive if it fits in this direction. Okay, and that should be the solution for that, <clears throat> for the value or the level of that power source. Okay, thank you.